So before we dive into this awesome video, it was sponsored by Aniba.com, which is a marketplace where you can purchase game keys for an extremely low price. Now, Aniba.com has been live for about a month or so, but has a ton of users that are extremely happy. Now, of course, you can get things like games, gift cards for your Xbox games and PlayStation, etc. And what's really, really cool is on the weekends, Aniba.com has sales where you can find top games at a really, really low price. Now, all you gotta do is is register using my link in the description below in order to get yourself a one euro bonus and even better if you use my code super rebel you will get yourself a three percent discount so hey if you want to save your pennies but get some amazing games at the same time then what are you waiting for check out aniba.com the link is in the description below What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So about a month ago I shared some footage from an early build of Spider-Man PS4 and it had everyone talking as there was basically this really great takedown that was removed but it prompts you to press a button to punch an enemy in the face whilst you have mounted them almost like in WWE mounting someone on a turnbuckle. It was literally that cool and of course because it looked so cool it was removed I'm assuming. Alright that is is probably the only reason it was removed because no one has the answer to that question and Insomniac never still up to this state gave an official reason as to why they went ahead and removed that and of course I just assumed it will be something they will be saving for the sequel. Now what we have today is even more before the final version of Spider-Man PS4 and as you see on screen the main part is the symbiote suit as you see in this image. Now to give you guys a breakdown this comes from a site called Additive and it says some details such as client being Insomniac Games, the project date for the game being 2015 to 18 and now this was shared by another YouTuber who goes by the name Evan Falaka who also has a video which is around 20 or 30 minutes long and it goes a whole lot more in depth so go ahead and check that out but I also want to give credit to the guy who shared it to him which is a dude who goes by the name Andrew4586 over on Twitter. So thank you to that dude for actually sharing this. But of course the main parts that I wanted to pick on for this video was in regards to these images. First and foremost is that symbiote suit as this was a big suit that majority of people wanted. So it seems like this was going to be in the game clearly with the image. So going off the basis that it already exists I guess. I'm assuming they have simply saved it for the sequel. No idea where they are going to be going with the sequel of course. We've had small teasers and what be it but nothing really official as it stands. Now of course the advanced suit was not yet named at this time but you can see it was called Spider-Man 25 and I have to say this menu slash 3D hub whatever you want to call it that we see in these images looks a whole lot more nicer and I guess superhero feeling if that is even a thing than of course the final build. But when I saw these images I was super super shocked to see that the symbiote suit was actually going to be in the game right up there second option with the advanced suit. I have no idea why they did remove that but would you guys have wanted to see it in Spider-Man PS4 or are you happy to hold out to the sequel? Of course I can't see them adding anything new to this game any anytime soon and going off whatever you know I guess route they want to take with the sequel we can maybe have it announced next year or the year after we just don't know. But there's even more things like in terms of the details such as the radio tower coverage then robbery stop side missions and the whole upgrade system on the web as well this looks really really cool. Even in terms of the gadgets the amount of detail just being pointed out such as what we see here with the electro web etc of course your spider-man would be in different suits right which would be really really cool so you'd have your badass character in the corner with all the great suits you've unlocked and then this really really detailed upgrade system that just looks nice so I think this would have been a really neat feature now what's also cool is this image you see of the combat in the HUD and of course Spider-Man swinging you see below it says 4 miles and then 85 miles per hour I don't know if that was genuinely the speed you're swinging out but if it was in Somniac games you better have saved this for the sequel because that is going to be bound to just be amazing. I mean, that would have been a really, really cool feature that it's not something you really request, but when it's there, you're like, hey, this is actually really interesting to see 
because it's something you never really think of. How fast are you web swinging at, right? So I think that would have been a cool a little feature. And of course, what's also great is it could have been another little feature for you to then unlock more things, like hitting a certain speed that unlocks you X, Y, and Z. Or you never know, right? With the symbiote suit, something in relation to that to go ahead and unlock that. But everything we have seen from the early build version of the game, I have no idea what Insomniac done, but it really, really seems like a different type of game. I mean, what we had in the final version was really great, but I mean, everything before just looks so much neater, and to some extent there are things that are clustered, but they do look a lot nicer if that makes sense. Just a lot more detailed, but I want you guys to get in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this. So of course, that is going to wrap up this video here. As always, subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already. But until then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day, and adios amigos.